Fest, red carpet sponsored by the Fleur de Jonc. Also want to say a quick thank you to the shops at West End and Showplace Icon Theaters. Thank you guys for being so generous with your resources for us each and every year. We are on to our next film. This is a film called All in the Circle. This is a documentary, and I have a plethora of the creative team right here. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to Okay, this is Isaiah, Aaron, and David, director, program director of camp and an organization we'll talk about in a minute, yes. and the producer. Yes? Okay. So, we've already been talking a little bit beforehand, and the story of kind of how this came together is, I think, is very fascinating. So, I'm just going to start with you. We're going to work our way down on the pieces you guys played into this, all right? How's it going? Good. <laughs> so, um, how it all started was I was, and it turns out Aaron was gonna also like so David was gonna make it's kind of complicated. I but, um, you're a part of it. <laughs> but I was just really interested in the program because it okay. has a really unique program about really connecting kids to nature and having a culture of kindness. Mm -hmm. So I was interested in that, and I really wanted to get experience. So when David like called me down to his office, and we talked about so fancy, yeah, the films <laughs> I'd done before, and I decided to direct it because of all those reasons. So before I hand it off to you guys, you said out of all your films before, how many, how long have you been making films? Because this one you made when you were twelve. Yeah, the ripe old age of twelve. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when had you been making films since? Um, I've been making films since I was like two. Get out of here! No. <laughs> my dad had been making films before, and he would like, I would act in his films. He would That's tell awesome. me what to say, and okay. so then I just started getting interested in it afterwards, and I just I started experimenting with it on my own, and then um, I made a couple films before I did this, and throughout the process, I've made a lot more. Okay. So, it started as a film that you were going to show at the end of camp to celebrate your summer together, your time together, and then it turned into something much bigger. Yes. All right, cool. So, what was your piece in all of this? Uh, well, a couple things. All right. Um, I just want to say, first of all, that the way I found Isaiah, I knew his dad through the work that we collectively do, um, but it was his video that I was captured by about his dad's business, I think it was. And I was like, this guy is gifted, and I want to get him involved because we really um, believe in the mission of this camp and are wanting to um, share the model um, because we think it's so important because of the dual mission of teaching the skills of how to create a, a culture of kindness. You know, so conflict resolution, understanding my own self, my own emotions, um, how to resolve things when they come up so that we can actually be kind. Because it's not an easy thing to do. I mean, we don't have to look far into the adult world to see that being kind is um, takes skills. It's tricky. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then also, um, as a part of that, is our connection with the natural world. And that um, the more and more disconnect, the more unhealthy we are. Sure. Individually, collectively, as well as as it leads to um, the crises we're facing around climate change. And so as we reconnect with the natural world and begin to learn from it and realize that this is an abundant, sentient, beautiful, um, intelligent world that we belong to, um, then children and youth and people begin to, to fight for it, to work for it. All right. So um, I brought these guys on and asked and, and um, kind of pleaded with them <laughs> to tell our story. And I cannot believe how amazing awesome. the product is. Awesome. You know. Um, and so I'm ecstatic, and I want David to be able to talk yes, a little bit about absolutely. it. Absolutely. Like, they have really dedicated the last two and a half years um, to making this real. Awesome. Yeah. So cool. Okay, so the next piece then. Um, I've been doing climate work for about eight years now. Okay. And uh, Aaron approached me and wanted to do a documentary of her summer camp. And I learned about it, and it sounded really cool. Um, so I agreed, and we decided Isaiah could probably direct this, so mm -hmm. we brought him on board, and it was just a really great experience. I, I spent the two weeks at the camp while okay, it was going sure. on. At the end of that, I was just blown away at what they're doing, and uh, I was like, oh, we better make this good. <laughs> <laughs> so Isaiah and I sat down and we came up with interview questions for mm -hmm. the people who run the camp. And then I got a couple of cameramen to come shoot the interviews. He, uh, Isaiah shot every day at the camp. And I remember the, after the first day, he's like, 
I don't know, should I be participating in camp or shooting in it? Or shooting it? Right. <laughs> I'm like, well, just do both. So anyways, uh, it took a couple years to put all this footage sure. together. We had tons of footage. And pretty much, if, if you're watching the film, if there's not an interview, and Isaiah's not in the shot, he shot that. That's awesome. So, um, I wish uh, Clint Bohati was here, who put this all together for us. A wonderful editor, okay. local, Minneapolis awesome. St. Paul. And just an awesome film community, community here in uh, Minneapolis. Yeah. Um, Volt Studios helped us with some stuff. Ditch Edit, uh, Searing Music, and Bill Staines, uh, let us use one of his songs for this. So yeah, yeah. it's 20 awesome. minutes long and we love it and we're really happy to be here at the Kate <laughs> Well, so thank, thank you. Can I say one more thing? Of course. No, I was just gonna say, this sounds like it's your baby, which I love, because it's every, I mean, every film is every filmmaker's baby, but you are talking about this with so much affection that yes. it's just lovely. And yes, I know you wanted to touch on one more thing. Go for it. Well, it's that the camp is about creating a culture of kindness, but we've done that with each other. And sure. One of the other cool stories is that my, my mom, Alice Pratt, is the artistic director and the founder of this camp. And so we've all been working, she's in the audience out here, and we've all been working Hi, on this together. <laughs> and, um, and so I just think that's a neat part that's of the story. That's awesome, that's amazing. And I should ask you this too, do you have something else you're working on right now? Uh, well, I've got more projects, and I've got school, too, to juggle. But no, no, I'm just talking projects. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I'm working on a couple other projects for All in the Circle. Or awesome. One more about the leadership camp that cool. they have okay. for the counselors. And I'm working on some other projects, a music video, some other awesome. projects like that. And um, there's just everything else to juggle. Just had like to turn down school. several jobs that He's I had to turn his down yeah. several jobs. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is amazing. All right, so you have stuff working. Where would we find it? Uh, well, I've got a YouTube page. That, yeah, where would we find that? Um, it'd be Isaiah Bischoff. Just look awesome. That up. Okay. Uh, I could put more stuff on there. Do but, it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, and for you guys, we'll end this with this question. Where can we find your work and what are you guys doing next as well? Okay, so we are looking to expand this camp um, and do it more times a year and in more places. So if you go to mnipl.org, I'm the program director at a nonprofit called Minnesota Interfaith Power and Light, and that is how we're running the camp. Uh, we have lots of information there. Um, we would love to have you sign up for um, news updates so that we can keep people sure. engaged in terms of volunteering, supporting the camp, and also attending the camp coming awesome. I mean, up. Uh, okay. yeah. Well, uh, I'm going to be working on a couple of commercials coming up okay. here, but uh, as far as uh, side projects, I'm going to keep with these guys, and I'm going to keep pushing this film. Uh, I'd like to raise a lot of money for this camp because I think it's a really wonderful thing what they're doing, and we've got some big plans that <laughs> we can't talk about yet oh, right now, but oh. if you stay tuned, about a year. And where would we find your stuff? Uh, my stuff is at David Howell Producer at G um, com. We think. Producer. Okay. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so you are just us. a group of sunshine, and I love it. Guys, we will be back in an hour or two with our next interview. Thank you. Thank you, guys.